Hey guys, Michael Vincent here, AKA Milk. I'm with the Notre Dame football team as a long snapper. And today I'm gonna to teach you guys how to long snap a football the Irish way. First person to teach me how to long snap was my dad, and I can remember it very vividly. You know, he always said, if you can learn how to do this, you'll always have a job. But you know, just kept working at it, working at it, and then I really kind of fell in love with it in high school. So the long snapper before me, John Shannon, we're from the same town back in the Chicagoland area, and there was an article about him in the newspaper and how he went to these long snapping camps, and then he got a scholarship to Notre Dame, and he was an All-American. And so I read that, and I was like, I want to be like this guy. And it turns out, you know, I came here, earned a full scholarship, and ended up being an All-American. So a long snapper is the person who snaps the ball to the punter on punts and snaps the ball to the holder on field goals. So that is what the long snapper is. We're not centers, we don't look like centers, we don't want to be called centers, we are long snappers. All right, now we are going to talk about the very first step of long snapping. So Reno Monaforte, ladies and gentlemen, also a fellow long snapper. So the first thing that we want to talk about is our grip. So we're gonna grip, just like we're gonna throw a football. So we're gonna throw a football. Reno's a righty, I'm a righty, so we're gonna have our right hand on the laces. Now your left hand or your non-dominant hand is your guide hand. We wanna take this, this left hand and we wanna put it right in the middle of the football. We don't want it to be too high, we don't want it to be too low. And it's just like shooting a basketball. You wanna have air from your palm to the ball. That way it can spiral super nice and go right to the punter or the holder. I think the first time that we beat Clemson in 2020 on this field, that was probably the most memorable moment that I've had here. We had to make a PAT to extend the game, go into overtime, and it was during COVID, so it was only students, faculty, and family here. I'll never forget when I was over the ball, I could hear the shh from the, the student section, like, shh, we gotta be quiet so the door can make it. And I think to me that was the most memorable because then we went on to beat Clemson, and that was probably my biggest victory here in Notre Dame Stadium. Jonathan Doerr out of the snap of Michael Vinson to tie it at 33. And we are on top. All right, now it is time for step two of long snapping. So we're going to go over our stance. We always want to place the ball down because in a game, the ref is never going to say, here you go. That's never going to happen in a game. And so what I like to do is I like to take a couple uh, steps back. When I go over the ball, I'm here. Right foot kind of splits the ball in half left, right, and I want to make sure that the ball is even with my feet. So the next, we are going to grip the ball with our right hand, and this is also different for every long snapper. Some guys like to just go ahead and put two, ball, two hands on the ball right away. I prefer one hand, make sure that the, the punter is back there. And so now going into the stance part, Reno, can I have you face that way? So I want you guys to pay attention to his back. His back is nice and flat, it's not rounded, the reason why we don't want it to be round is because we want to engage our shoulders. We want all of our power, because this is not very powerful, but this is super powerful. So you want to have shoulders backed in and locked right here. You don't want to be too low, but you also don't want to be too high. You should not see the punter's whole body. You want to see, you're going to see about knees to feet. You know, I see about shins to feet. It's all different. And there's also two different ways of this stance. You can be a look snapper, which means your head is down and you are looking the whole time. Or you can be a no look snapper, where you're looking at the ball. And then as you go through the motion, then your head comes through. So we have the stance, we have the grip. So now it's time to kind of put it all together. So what we want to do is we are not going to drag the football. We're not going to do that. And we're not going to lift up here because that's just waste of movement. And we wear these things called helmets. So it's going to hit you in the head like that. So what we want to do is we want to get a bend in our elbow. So go ahead, Reno, right here. Just go ahead and go one slow. Nice bend in our elbow all the way through. So this is where we want to be. We want to have a nice bend in our elbow like Reno's doing right here. This allows us to have a whip. And that is where the speed and your accuracy and spiral comes from. Those three things are very vital to long snapping. Notice how my elbows are not going out. 
because if you go out, you're gonna hit your legs. So you wanna keep your elbows nice and in and tucked, drive your elbows through, and you wanna finish like you're shaking hands upside down. So you wanna go like this, wrists together, thumbs out, fingers like this. So this is how we finish. That's going to get a nice tight spiral right to the punter. Thank you guys so much for watching our video today. We hope you guys enjoyed it. We hope you guys learned something and we hope that you guys learned how to snap the Irish way. Thank you, Reno, for helping me out and being as awesome as you are. And as always, go, go Irish. Irish.